everybody and welcome to our next Ascension Teachings Q&A where I'll be channeling Ascended Master Yeshua. So today we are joined by Isabel and Victor. Hi guys. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right. So Yeshua has come through and he has come through wanting to discuss about ways we can open our heart center, share our love energies using different techniques with love energy. And in this way, we connect more to oneness within ourselves and oneness to others. So without further ado, I'll go now into trance and bring forth Yeshua for you. D ones, it is Yeshua coming through. It is our honor to come through this way once again. My D ones, you are on a journey of great expansion, expansion from your heart center. You are here to journey into your heart, the heart that connects all that is, that connects you with who you truly are, that is source. You are eternal, you are love, and you are powerful, but you have forgotten this nature. You have forgotten the powerful being that you are. This is our intention to come through, to allow you to remember just how divine you are. You are the God that you seek, but you pray to other gods. You seek for things outside of yourself when my dear beloveds it is all within you the kingdom of god is within you for you are god my dear ones you are source you are manifested into this brilliant magnificent being that you are that you call a human being to be a human being is to be. You are here to play in this plow, playground of life, of expansion and contrast. This contrast is an illusion. But it is the illusion that you chose, my dear one, is an illusion that you came willingly into, my dear one. All the creatures of the world and our very friend in the background is all part of Source. It is all here for your expansion. Yes, even our very friends are all part of us. We are one. You are all part of the divine Source being. My dear ones, throughout your different timelines, you have limited yourself, made yourself less powerful in your conscious awareness. But my dear ones, this is not true. This is an illusion. 
but you came here to play this game. You came here to expand through love. Fear is an illusion, but fear can also be your tool if you change your perspective on what fear is. That fear has no control of you, for fear is an illusion. My dear one, you are love. You are divine. You are source. Source manifested brilliantly and powerfully. Source wanted to express itself, to see itself, experience itself in many different versions. And this is why you are a unique signature, but you are source, unique, but also part of oneness. You exist in a duality consciousness, and this is why you see wrong and right. This is why you judge. This is why you see separateness, my dear one. It's a part of a consciousness that you started to play within the illusion. However, now it is a time of great awakening, and you as a collective, are waking up to the remembrance that you are one. Oneness consciousness is you. Your human vessel is also aligning to this consciousness. So there are many changes occurring within the human vessel. As above, so below. Consciousness cannot change without human vessel, for which you are his divine source energy. Energy must flow, my dear one. Energy is divine, my dear ones, through love. Through love energy, you expand. It is about opening your heart center. Opening your heart to love that exists. The love that eternally exists. Mighty one, open your heart center. Many of you are fearful to open your heart center. You feel fear of the unknown. There's nothing to fear. It's through opening your heart where you connect to who you truly are. You connect to the love that you truly are. It is through opening the heart Projecting your love energy it is source energy. There are many ways you can do this. To make the attention, use your conscious awareness to vocalize on your heart center. Using your meditations, use this in your everyday experiencing. By opening your heart center, use this energy through vibration of love, through speech, through projections, through sound, through light. It's through the heart. Use this heart energy. It's source energy. It is connecting you to who you are, to your brothers and sisters. And to all that is, my dear ones. My dear ones, thank you for being here today. What would you like to discuss? Do you have a question, my dear ones? Go ahead, Victor. <laughs> um, it's kind of re resonating because I'm... Um, as I'm diving deeper in my heart, it's this fear of the unknown. And like, it's like, what am I connecting to when I'm going that deep into my heart? Um, and is it like, I kind of know the answer now because it's kind of connecting to the source, but why is the fear to go deeper or? Because yeah, you're kind of, fearful of your own power mm -hmm. you are fearful of embracing who you truly are but there is nothing to fear my dear one there's been many conditions upon you upon your society my dear one you are here right now because you are ready to remember who you truly are it may not be what you expect you may uncover many things about who you truly are that might be very new to you but we say detach detach from any ideas who you think you are who you think you should be disconnect from your identity your identity limits you you are much more than any human persona you are source you are love there is nothing to fear about experiencing the divine love that you are. You may ask yourself, why would I be fearful of uncovering my power? But my dear one, you came here to choose and explore and play in the illusion. You chose to feel disempowered only to remember your power, my dear one. The, the ego mind, the persona is linked to conditions, linked to limiting belief systems that you have collected throughout your history timelines. And because of your conditioning, we would say, when you go further inwards, the ego likes to block you because it, it relates to your identity, it relates to fears of who you are and who you think you are. But you are much more than you can ever conceive, my dear one. This is why we say, let go of any notion of identity, because you are much more than you conceive. As you do this inward journey, 
you will be asked to be vulnerable in your society to be vulnerable is seen somewhat as a weakness especially in the divine masculine collective things are shifting this is the great awakening you are a way shower and by you going deeper within who you truly are you unlock more of the light into your conscious awareness you will unlock more power that is within and by like doing so you unlock more of the remembering of who you truly are as a source being within this human being you will unlock more ability that will come into your conscious awareness the ability may be unusual for you but they for you to explore according to your pre-birth intentions your soul contracts mighty one you are here to play bravely in the light of who you are so don't go inwards this is one step mighty one you don't have to remember who you are overnight this is a journey it's an internal journey it's a human journey it's just one step do you see yourself as well? You have to ask yourself this question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you really see yourself as worthy? What do you see when you look into the mirror? Do you see the magnificent, powerful being that you are? Or do you see limitations? Do you see things that you need to change about yourself? Do you think your path should be further along than it should, my dear one? Be in the present. In the present now, this is where your power lies, my dear one. With certain techniques to go inwards, my beloveds. When you do your meditation, connect to the heart. You may do this in many different ways. Song, light, projections. There are many different ways to do this related to your soul contracts, related to certain abilities that are awakened within you. Divine sound current is very powerful when connecting to the heart center. Also using light, the divine light within. When you go within, connect to your heart. You may do this physically. Visualize your heart space opening. How you visualize this is your creative exploration. So go forth, be creative. When you are creative in the visualization techniques, you are activating the God particle within you, for you are a God creator. So visualize according to your unique energy signature. Visualize your heart center. Visualize your heart opening. To this is done. Connect. Quiet the mind. Focus on the heart. Ask yourself, who am I? You will notice your ego speaking to you. Persona. No, this is your persona. Keep asking where I Until you get the answer that you are source. This is an internal journey. It is a journey to connect who you are and all that is. Know that you are worthy of the powerful being that you are. You may not see yourself as powerful because you see duality. You may see separation. You may see things within your life, within your life, as an illusion that you are not worthy. But this is an illusion. Any Illusion based in fear is just that an illusion. You are powerful and limitless. Let go of attachments and be in the present now. What thoughts, what words do you speak? What words do you manifest through your mouth? Vocalize through the sound comrades. Are they words of love? Are they thoughts of love? Or are they thoughts of judgment? Many of you, even though you may be mindful of judgment of others, many of you. Have judged towards yourself and imagine your own journey on the path. Know your path perfect. It is unfolding perfectly the way you want to explore it. Everyone's path is different. It's unique. A unique path. Don't compare your path to anybody else. Mighty one. The words that you speak, the words of love, words of compassion, are like words of fear. Mighty one. Thank you, Yeshua. Mighty one. Is there any questions you would like to speak of today? Hmm. I was reading a book actually indirectly about you, Yeshua. It came into my reality twice. It's Mary Magdalene's and Isis, teaching of Isis and Mary Magdalene. 
And uh, I was like, oh, look at this. I'm reading about Yeshua and the, his journey. <laughs> and it was lovely. It was, I haven't finished it, but it was very nice. And it was talking about like um, how Mary Magdalene saw you right away and and how she would embody Isis. And I said, oh, Isis, my guide. So I just thought it was, it was very sweet. It was very sweet, Yeshua, to, to read this book. About, a, a, you weren't too much in the book. It was really more about Mary Magdalene. My beloved. <laughs> yes, and then she, you know, it was interesting. It was nice, Yeshua, because, you know, Mary Magdalene was also, uh, you know, in human form, and so were you. And she had this bitter sweetness, you know, losing you and then having you, you know. So it was, it, it's, it's nice to see, to read that story because it, it is a very human journey, you know, as, as you ascend. You still go through the fears and the fear of loss and, and all of that. So it was just, it was very sweet. teachings that have come forth in different timelines has been one of oneness different techniques of oneness sacred union as a form of oneness there are many techniques of oneness oneness is the consciousness state that you have entered it is a new paradigm shift that the human collective has entered and this is why only the most advanced beings are here now in this time continuum you resonate with this message because you are starting to remember who you are and that you are one with all that is. Sacred union is one form of oneness, but opening your heart is the foundational way you connect to your brothers and sisters. My dear one, when you see separateness, transform it through the heart center when you see and experience something that you judge as wrong, send it compassion. Compassion is a vibration of love. If it is something personal to you and you feel hurt, forgive it. My dear one, everything is happening for you and for your expansion there are many soul contracts at play here mighty ones you do not know the journey of your brothers and sisters when you feel hurt know that it is a reflection within you they are reflecting the pain within you your belief systems that it's pinched off from source realization within you everything is a reflection of you for you are one mighty ones when you go inwards and connect to the heart center send your love to your brothers and sisters you can start practicing right here right now you can hold an image of a person in your mind open your heart center and visualize that love going into the heart center there are many ways you can use creative play here you are a god creator anytime you see something that is wrong what are you judging know that this is duality consciousness this is not who you truly are what is the fear that is within you what are you judging what are you seeing as wrong and right mighty one all is perfect all is occurring accordance to divine time and to the divine plan you have soul contracts coming in here to experience the human experiencing the collective has soul contracts you are awakening to the remembrance of the oneness source being that you are and it is through the heart 
it is about letting go of judgments, letting go of notions of separateness where you connect more to the one state, mighty one. When you go within, when you open your heart, stay there in the heart center. Project the heart energies. If you were called, then vocalize the sound energies. This is alchemy. This is divine alchemy. Transmutes the illusion of fear into love not just within your perceived consciousness, but into the collective consciousness. Be mindful of your own words and your own thoughts. It starts with you. You are a God creator. You are source. Be aware in your everyday experiencing of the thoughts and the words that you speak. Now we understand this can be challenging because there are many habits and you are plugged into the collective consciousness. We understand this. And this is why it is a journey. One step at a time. Releasing duality consciousness into the remembrance of oneness. My dear one. You are love and you are divine. All is perfect. But my dear ones, you look at situations and you do not deem them as perfect. You look at other people's experiencing and you ask yourself and you question, how can this be perfect? You do not know what they came here to explore. If you cannot understand it, if you cannot see the higher perspective, send it your acceptance. Accept what is. This will raise your frequency to unlock more of the remembering. The more you dwell in fear in the illusionary dream, you will pinch yourself off from the remembering of who you are. To release and activate the remembering of who you are is to live in the heart space of love, which is source divine love. And this is through your everyday experiencing. Be mindful of your thoughts. Analyze your fears. This is why going inwards, quietening the mind is so powerful. Most importantly, love your journey. Love every aspect of your being. Accept if you cannot love. Show compassion if you cannot love. Forgive if you cannot accept. All is perfect and all has a divine play. All is source. You are source. Your brothers and sisters are source. Everything is source. And it is experienced here in this illusion by embracing it fully where you expand into the remembrance of your oneness state, my dear one. And how are you practicing the one estate, my dear one? I go within and I speak to um, Isis and Athena. And Athena talks about forgiveness. And Isis uh, tells me the trick of it. How, like for example, if you heal someone, you see them as perfect. And healthy and not sick because that's the illusion and so she'll um, she'll remind me that this is a game and that I'm just playing a game and everything is okay and she reminds me to love myself wherever I am is where I am and of course the present moment and then she tells me I can't know everything because that's not part of the game. <laughs> and she said, it's okay to go into the knowing and the uncertainty and embrace both, embrace the contrast, because that brings it into oneness. So, um, and then we talk about, I am the diamond cutter 
and the diamond at once. And then we talk about my inner being. And I am beginning to really trust my inner being and see how amazing my inner being has all this information. Let's see, we touched upon dimensions. We talk a lot about beliefs. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and so I always say I'm in tests, but they're all open book because I have all my guides with me. And this is right. You were never alone. Yes. It is an open book. If you are willing to be vulnerable, if you are willing to go within and trust the journey, and we know this can be challenging to trust the journey because you experience things in your life that you may perceive as unwanted, but you did want this. Your human mind may not be able to comprehend this on a human level, but you chose to explore certain dynamics in the human experience that will allow you to expand your source consciousness. You have chosen to remember more of who you are. And those of you watching this, listening to this, have chosen to remember who you are. You are on this journey, the greatest discovery of mankind. It is to remember that you are source and that you are powerful and then that you are limitless. In the human mind, you perceive to a certain level based on your conditioning, based on duality, but you are capable of so much more for all the abilities and the wisdom that you seek is already within you. It is just there, ready to be remembered. You are already enlightened, my dear one. You are the enlightened beings that you seek. You are me. You are all the beings of the light. You are your spirit guides. We come through in this way to assist you in your belief systems. But know that we are you and we are one. For we are all source. And it's time for the human collective to remember more of who they are. And this is the paradigm shift that is occurring. So trust your journey. Know that your journey is powerful. Know that your journey is perfect, my dear one. It has always been perfect. Many of you judge the pace on which your journey is unfolding. Trust that your journey is going according to define time. You do not know what is in store for you. Yes, even those of you that are sensitive and see glimpses of your perceived future. This is not set in stone. These are potentialities. They are clues and messages for you. It does not mean this will eventuate exactly the way you perceived it, the way it was shown to you. Detach. Live in the present now. The present now is who you truly are. The present now is where your true power lies. The present now is where your connection to your source self lies. The present now is where you connect to your brothers and sisters and all that is. Mighty one. Practice this. When you walk past someone on the streets, practice connecting your heart with theirs. Visualize energy connecting the hearts. Experiment with this. When you connect with Gaia, practice opening your heart and connecting your heart with that of Gaia, that of the waters, of the trees, of your furry friends. All is one. Practice opening the heart space. If you are called to use sound, use sound. If you are called to use projections of light, then use that. This is creative play. You are God creator. 
Every time you are creative, you are activating the God particle. And what you visualize is occurring in higher truth according to your energy signature. You see things as imagination is just that. But when you visualize, you are seeing beyond the veil. You are seeing the truth and tools and symbols for you to allow you to connect to source and oneness, which are unique to you. Experiment. Trust your abilities. Trust your visions. Trust your visualizations. Trust divine sound current. Trust your abilities. Everyone is unique in this, in the way they express their heart energies. Most importantly, it is connecting to you. Many of you tend to want to assist others, but you forget about your own journey. You forget about your own self-worth and your own self-love. You hold others in high esteem, but you judge yourself. For you to assist others, to be the light bearer for others, to allow others to discover their own light, is to go inwards and project your own light. And to do this is to be aware of your limiting beliefs and fears, to be aware of the illusion, to know that you are one. And this may take work because many of you are heavenly conditioned. But remember that you are love and that you are perfect and that you are source, mighty one. You are eternal. You are the stars. You are the galaxy. You are the universe. If only you knew just how powerful you are. If only you knew your brothers and sisters were you and they are assisting you out of love to allow you to go inwards, to alchemize fear into love. It is all for you. Embrace the contrast. Embrace the fear. Because by embracing fear, it allows you to see your limiting beliefs in the human experiencing. You are able to transform that into love. As long as there is duality consciousness in your human experience, there will be an aspect of fear. But you can reduce this. And as the collective consciousness moves more into oneness, you will no longer be needed. And it will be a different form of human experiencing. Until this time, experience and embrace all the different colors of the illusion of duality. It is for you. You chose to explore this game of duality consciousness. You wanted to remember separateness, only to remember oneness. Maybe not in full, maybe just in part. Everyone's journey is different. But remember, you are one. Remember that you are source. Remember that you are limitless. It is only the human mind where you limit yourself and the conditionings. Through the heart center, you unplug from the conditionings of your ego mind, of the collective consciousness. This is when you plug into the heartbeat of all that is. It is through the heart center. You plug into the now. You plug into the multidimensional existence of your eternal being. It is through love. My dear one, is there anything that you are not loving that you wish to speak of here today that you find challenging to love, to accept? Um, there's, um, a lot of conflict, uh, going on between my husband and my daughter and, um, um, often I will, um, love, be very compassionate and love, but I'm working on expressing the love for myself because I would put him before me. And so I am practicing putting myself first uh, instead of him because when he's in fear, I'm in fear. 
and it's okay for me to be in fear and him in fear, but still put myself first and give myself that love and space and voice, um, give myself a voice instead of going in the background and allowing him to express his voice. So uh, I'm still very loving towards him, but at the same time, I'm expressing my voice. You are being the God creator. You are starting to remember how worthy you are. This is a journey of the divine feminine to use your voice, to feel powerful. And this is why you chose to experience life here in a female body. There are certain unique collective contracts divine feminine chose to explore here and this is why the contracts are different with the divine masculine collective mm -hmm. one of these intentions was to speak truthfully to have your voice heard to feel worthy of your voice being heard know that when you focus on your self-love all that around you will reflect that love. It is not about changing the external conditions. You may want to change people around you, for people to be more in love, but they are perfect. They are highly advanced beings playing their role for you. If it triggers you, you know it is for you. You know it is a fear within your human experiencing that you haven't alchemized into love. This is part of the game. You are starting to remember more of the game. The game was supposed to be enjoyed. But in the human experiencing, it is not enjoyed. Because you perceive fear as real. You perceive pain as real but it is illusionary. It is your teacher, and that is that. All fear is still love. All fear is still source. All is source, my dear ones. If you want to assist those around you, if you want to assist the conditions in your reality, it is about focusing on yourself, being heard, being the focus, it is your journey because you are those people around you. Want to go in and expand more light within you. Want to unlock more of the remembering of who you are. Your frequency will align more to the source being that you are. And because all is energy, all is affected by your energy. And as such, those beings will be affected and they'll alchemize their own fear because of your light, because of your energy. This is why you do not have to change anyone or anything. All you need to do is work on your own light, work on your own fears, practice more acceptance, practice more loving of what is. Loving yourself is the most powerful alchemizing tool available to the human race. It may sound easy just to love yourself, but do you really? Do you really love all aspects of you? Do you really see yourself as worthy in all aspects of your human experiencing? You may see yourself in worthy in some areas, but there are other areas where you may not see your skill set as advanced. You may not see yourself as worthy. You are worthy in all aspects, for you are God. You are perfection. You are the universe. Your journey is unique to you for a reason. When those people around you are in fear, project your light to them. All is energy. If you are able to manage your own fears, know that they are your teacher. Remind yourself that they are your master teacher. Know that they are you. If you cannot understand why it is happening, if you cannot love the situation or that person, accept it. Be grateful. They are your teacher because you wanted this test. You wanted to expand further into love. Be grateful for the teacher that they are. 
open your heart space. With practice, you can do this in the moment. Open your heart space. Visualize, play. Use your creative powers, being the God creator that you are. And visualize. Project your heart energy into theirs. Be creative in this way. Know that your heart energy is affecting those around you, even if you may not perceive it. On some level, it is activating the remembering of who they are. Mighty one, you are one. As you project your energies into another, see that person as you, as an aspect of you that you have not integrated into love. Love that being, for that being is you. If you are not loving the beings around you, you are not loving yourself. These beings are you. So what are you judging? You judge them, you are judging yourself. Can't you see the pattern here? All is one and all is you, expressed in different unique energy signatures. You are a God creator. So go play. Use these tools. Open your heart center and connect. Remember that all contrast is your teacher. It is an illusion, but it is your teacher. Everything occurs around you as accordance to your frequency. Your soul contracts is part of this frequency. You wanted to explore certain themes in your human experiencing. Once you can surrender to this and know that you do not know what you came here to explore, you let go more of resistance. The people in your life chose to explore their experience pre-birth. Practice acceptance. You do not know why they chose this. But know that if it's affecting you, it is also for you. Everyone in your life is there for a reason. There are no accidents here. You are all playing roles to expand who you are, to remember who you are in oneness. And to assist in the collective consciousness, in oneness. Those of you watching or listening to this, you are at the forefront of this understanding, this remembering. You are the light workers. You are the light bearers. For you to assist others is to first assist yourself. Be the light. Embrace the light. Not just part-time. In every aspect of your human experiencing. Love. Use the vibrations of love in all the different creative ways it comes to your inspiration. You have the abilities. Some of you judge your abilities and they are unique to your energy signature, but because they are strange, because you cannot compare it to a different modality, to modalities that exist already, you disregard it. You see it as a silly imagination. You see it as a silly thought and disregard it. The abilities that come through you are unique because of your soul contract, contracts, because of your multidimensional experience, because of your unique energy signature. It is for you. Embrace it. Embrace any techniques it is aligned to your heart center. If you feel it moving within you, through your heart, then it is for you. The mind likes to analyze what these abilities are. This is an illusion. Let go. The mind cannot analyze spirit. The mind cannot analyze source. There is no explanation. Let go of trying to explain and understand your abilities. You are source. You are limitless. You do not know the origin of these abilities, my dear one. Let go and embrace the uniqueness that you are, the unique energy signature that you are as source manifested. Embrace love. You cannot embrace love, embrace acceptance. Embrace gratitude. Embrace forgiveness. As you do this, you release resistance. Practice this in every aspect of your life. For all is perfect and all is you. Manifested 
in other unique energy signatures. Everyone that you see is you in a different form, that they are energy and all energy changes. No energy is stagnant. Who you are now is different to who you are one second ago because you are energy and energy must move. It's only the illusion where you see yourself as the same, where you see yourself as the same person, but you are not. You are changing every single minute in your perceived time. And situations can change every single second because all is energy. Energy is multidimensional. Energy is the foundation of your existence. And it's through the heart energy where you connect to who you are in the remembrance that you are source. Thank you, Yeshua. And we know you have been brave on your journey. <laughs> Thank you, Yeshua. <laughs> because you are starting to remember more of who you are. You are starting to remember that you are one. And they're all playing roles for you and you're playing roles for them. Many of you have shame, regret, things you wish you could have done, should have said. My dear one, your journey is perfect. Speak mm -hmm. when you're inspired and let go of attachments of how they perceive this. Let go. Speak from the heart, act from the heart, be from the heart, from the now. That is the divine connection. That is where you connect to the heartbeat of all creation. It is the portal to your brothers and sisters. It is the portal to remember true oneness and source realized, mighty one. And is there anything else you'd like to discuss today? No, Yeshua. Be the light that you are. Embrace the light that you are. Be the love that you are. In every way. You are the light bearers, the light showers. Mighty one. The only journey you need to take is the inward journey into the heart. It is there when you practice these energies of love, when you actively create from the energies of the heart. Forgiveness, compassion, gratitude. These are all examples of the vibration of love that you can use in your everyday experience, everyday interactions that allows you to connect more to oneness and to the truth of who you are. In higher truth, there is nothing to forgive. But if you have fear and you cannot see it for what it is, then practice that as a first step. Compassion. You may not understand what is happening, why it is happening, but show compassion for the lessons that contain within, for the expansion that is to come from exploring such events. Everything is your teacher. You wanted this game. You wanted this expansion. You judge your journey and the journey of others. Everyone's journey is unique. You are source. Practice going inwards to your heart center. Ask yourself, who am I? Practice seeing the worthiness of your being, the love that you are. What do you see when you look into the mirror? Do you see love? Do you see judgment? What do you see? Practice this. Remind yourself how worthy you are because you are God. How can you not be worthy? Anything else is an illusion. It is through the heart center where the inward journey lies. 
And it's with our love that we come through today. It is with our love that connects you with all that is. For you are source. Be in the now. Be open to love. Be open to be vulnerable. Many of you fear vulnerability. Many of you fear the unknown. So you want to control it. Control the people around you, the situations around you to make you feel more secure. This is fear. This is an illusion. You have a choice to explore why you are truly here. You have a choice to remember more fully who you are if you let go. And be in the present moment, not knowing what will come tomorrow or the next day. Trust that the universe is providing you the lessons that is needed for your expansion, the lessons that you chose to experience life through. It is all for you. And all your guides is assisting you through these contracts that you have chosen, my dear one. You are not bound by these contracts. You are a God creator and you can change them if you want another experience. But know that everything is happening out of love. And why would you choose not to experience your soul contracts? You wanted this expansion. It is in your perception where you perceive it as difficult or challenging or unwanted. This is an illusion. Change your perspective. Know that it is all for you. Know that everyone around you that triggers you are your greatest teachers. You are the God creator. You are source and you are love. You are eternal and you are limitless. And it is through the heart center where you can access who you truly are. And you can activate the remembering of your abilities that will assist you in your journey here. We love you dearly. Farewell. Thank you, Yeshua.